What's going on guys, it's Sakina here and welcome back to another one of my videos. On today's video we're going to be doing another spotlight on the Frag Pro Shooter series and today's spotlight which I think is my number 12th, I'm not sure. I am losing count of all these spotlight videos I'm doing. Number 12 I believe and it's going to be this little lady here called Cactarina. Obviously the name is to do the fact that she is sort of like a living cactus woman thing and she is a wild car which means that she basically roams all over the shop you've got no control of where she's going to be at any point of time in the game so let's have a look at the skins first see what skins you've got available for her she looks like she's a bit of a bit of a rock chick there rocking out so you've got the desert sun epic which makes her go a bit orange with the green hair and then after that, that's, that's for 800 gems. That, and then you've got the Ocean Vibes, which is the common one. For those of you that are on more of a budget, 149 gems buys you that little getup with a 5% gold perk. And then your legendary one is the Neon Poison, which is 1500 gems nearly. And that's probably the, the best looking skin, which is why it's expensive. The, she looks pretty... Pretty evil right there. So that's the skins that if you've got the gems and you want to throw your money at looking different on there, that's where you want to go. So we've got these hit points. So she's relatively weak on the hit point front, 152 hit points. She can go out, she can get killed reasonably quickly. Her damage per second is quite good. She's got this prickler shotgun. She's pretty fast and she's also pretty fast when she's shooting as well. Their respawn delay is 22 seconds, which is about, which is on the better side. There's slower ones out there. Her weapon range is short. It's not very long at all. 25 meters is all you get from that. And she's strong against building. So her weapon is this shotgun. It's a powerful shotgun. It has thorns. That's what it says there. And reload time is 2.6 seconds. Fire rate is 113.5. It's pretty quick. And you get this headshot multiplier. So... Again, with these things, if you can get the headshots in, that will get you that will get you the kills that you need. So you've got to be trying to be skillful and get up close and personal with this weapon of hers. Her special ability is this cactus trap. Laser predator plant that springs on the first enemy to walk over it. So this has a has a good uh it's good because you can put down four of these at once. They, she gets the ability to spawn them reasonably quickly, only eight seconds, and then she can spawn another one. So if you're just remembering to keep checking those traps down. You will trap people in them, and that is where her skill lies. As a part, as a per, ugh, I'm trying to think what I say. Her tier, I would put probably out of one to five, with one being a must-have. I would probably put her down at three, possibly four. There are better ones out there that people would probably go for. But like I said, with all these cards, if it's if you can adapt your style to their main skill, then you know they can fit into most most teams that you have out there. So let's go back at see into her once more time. And there was something else I was going to say about her, I think, and that is yeah. So she's light and she's common, and it says. After her successful musical career with her band Seed Vicious, Cactarina decided to be a thorn in everybody's side when she joined Frag. So we're going to go in and we're going to do a couple of games with her. And I shall try and showcase her skills. And we, as, you, as usual with these spotlight videos, you never know who you're going to come up against. It could be somebody who's way, way, way too powerful for me, in which case it's very hard to, to show. Or I could get a nice easy one and that would be perfect for me. Um, but it looks like we got some of the 7400 trophies, which means to say that that is not good. So I'm going to just pick up these coins here a minute with Bot Mama, and then I shall go. Cactus is already right at the front there, ready to get killed, which I don't want to do. Check down the trap there. So if someone's going in left side. Let's see if we can get her. Get the shotguns. Oh, yeah, so that's what, no, that's what I'm talking about. Took out with the shotguns pretty quickly there. So I'm going to reload the shotguns. Let's go into the side and get some shots off. Oh, we've been stunned with the bobbler. The bobbler is such a pain in the backside. And also, it's just floating me off over the water anyway. So even if I didn't get killed, the water would have got me afterwards. Bobbler, I've not done a... I've not got bobbler. And if I did, he'd go, he go straight into my team because he's like the most uh, annoying defensive card in the game. Basically stuns you almost immediately and you float off 
flew off into space ready to get killed. So that, that is what's happened to me. So we go back in with Cacturina again. And she's at the top. We're going to drop down. We're going to drop down right side, I believe. And actually, I'm at fair go left side. So you've got a level, card 11 here. Base is under attack. This is what you're going to get here. You're going to get these card 11s. I can't get in the range. Base is under I got attack. one shot in, but... He's just floating off around the place at the moment. So has he got up the top again? Has we got him? Here we go. Finally got him. Level 11 card against level 7s and 8s. Does that seem fair to you? I don't believe so. And they're all gone the right hand side. I'm not going to be able to get anywhere in here. There's Bobler again. Choke down the trap. I can't get the kill. Can I get the kill? No, I can't get the kill. There's too many people attacking me. So, let's see. Like I said, this guy has got some wicked cards, so I'm just going to try and get some shots off up here. Not quite. Oh, I've got some head. Oh, didn't quite get the kill there. I'm going to go back in into Cacturina in a second. Let's go back in. Cacturina's just respawned. Back at the top. You know, maybe I'm going to go left side this time. I think the left hand, the left hand flank might be better for me to get the kill on this guy here. That was it. Beautifully done. Doesn't seem like the headshots are doing anything on on that one there. It should have, that should have taken her out. I sometimes think there's some glitch with this game where where it doesn't register because that was shotgun headshots. You took about three shotgun headshots there, and and it did not kill her at all, which is a bit ridiculous. I know she's level nine, but the power seven should have easily wiped her out with those headshots there. So that was just crazy. So we're gonna just go in left hand side again and. Hopefully it won't glitch out. It won't do some silly things with the with lag or anything like that. And it'll, it'll let me get in there. Which base is what is should have happened in the first place. So my base is under attack again from the side. And it's like my one of my bunkers has been taken out. But I get some shots in. I'm going to chuck down a trap. And I've got one of the bunkers down as well. Which is super awesome. Can I get any damage on this second bunker? Five seconds to go. Come on. Come on, let's do it. Double frag. Double frag. I'm running for my life. I don't know if I'm going to make it. No, I got taken out before I could get into the back tower. But I even left the score there. It looked like I was going to be absolutely decimated. So considering they've got such good cards, I've not done too bad here. I think ultimately I'm going to win. I'm going <laughs> to... I think ultimately I'm going to lose. But you can't fault me for my efforts at trying to get a win. I'm just backing off again now. Going from behind. That was a lovely little sneaky behind shot there. And I'm going to go left side. I don't need any health. But they're probably going to be defending the base like heck now. Yep, they are defending the base like heck. I can't even get anywhere close. No. Nope. Four. Three. Oh, I got a kill. Oh, I think we lost it by literally 30 points. That really, I mean, for the cards that this guy had, nines and tens and an 11, I almost won that. So that, that, that fills me with confidence because that means to say that I've got, I've got, must have some skills. Surely there must be some skills in my ability to get that close to a win against an opponent like that. So this is another one that's got Bobler. So we're going to go in with the card that we're talking about here. And looks like there's some gems on the roof. So I'm going to ignore the gems for now. Try not to run off into the water, which I nearly did when I was talking to you. And I'm going to go left flank. Oh, hang on. We've got somebody in here already. Oh, yeah. They've got a Luca Moita. I'm going to try and get some headshots. Come on. Oh, I've got the headshots for the win. I'm going to reload the shotgun. And we've got a second kill. Going across the top. So this guy's got some nines. He's got some level nines. He's backing up. And I dropped in the drink. Which I did not want to do, obviously. That was a bit of a major, major mess up on my half. So maybe maybe my skills aren't quite honed, honed as much as I thought they were. But no, yeah. I do like to take, take the odd bath once in a while in the water on here. 
And it looks like that's giving him the opportunity to come in and attack my base. So let's go back with her again. And drop it in left side. She's... Nope, she's not there. Right, I'm going to go on the roof. I'm going to get some gems. Might as well get some gems while I'm here. Base gems and gold. Attack. Beautiful. They got Luke and Moisture there again. And he's taken right. out. Well, I've got to take out this guy with the rocket launcher. And he got me. I didn't even get a chance to do one shot. He just one hit killed me. And I'm going to have to be Luke and Moisture for a minute. See if I can... Get up there. There he is. Let's see if I get in there. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. Right, let's go back to my car. Wait for her to spawn. She should be back any second now. Is under attack. Here we go. So the one thing that I'm not doing as well as I should be doing is getting these traps out. Get the traps often. Oh, here comes Luke and Moitra still. He's trapped in the in my cactus trap. And so that was good. So that's, you can see there, that worked really well. Get another trap down. Pop man is there. Oh, I've taken Pop man out, but one of her bots took me out. Oh, and this guy came round the side as well to kill me. But that was quite good. But it looks like we're losing this one. It's not going as planned. I'm just waiting for her to just, Cactarina, just join us back in the party. And I think I'm going to still go left side, even though... It's not going to plan. But unfortunately, in um, both these games, I've been out trophy. Not so much out trophies on this one, but definitely on the first one. I'm going to go left hand side. Go Luke and Moitra. Oh, he's trying to get me. He's got me in the poison. But we can stop him. We can stop him. We can go in. We can get, get the special health. Come on. I couldn't kill him. I could not kill him. If I'd been there all day, he still wasn't going to go down. Now we got to wait for a spawn again. But like I said, 22 second respawn is, is like a reasonable respawn rate for the character. And what we've got on here is ultimately two defeats in a row against people with higher trophies than me and better cards than me. So, and that's what you get in this game. Sometimes you get some good you get a good opposition. Sometimes you get given a hard one. And on today's video, we got two difficult opponents. So I couldn't get the wins that I wanted. But I hopefully you were able to see the sh me showcasing Cactarina and her abilities. Like I said, I probably could have done with getting those traps out a bit quicker, a bit sooner. And she's got four that she can do. So like I said, she's like a tier three stroke four. But that doesn't mean to say that you can't utilize her ability to for your advantage. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, smash that like button because that'll be super awesome. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you guys next time. Subscribe.